Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. It is April 21st, 2018. I'm out walking my dog. As you can see, I'm wearing short sleeves. It is very warm. I would say almost hot. It's like 22 degrees Celsius. Today I'm going to talk about coming to Japan. So um, if you're ever thinking of coming to Japan to work, um, now's the time to come. Around April is the best time. Um, they begin their fiscal year uh, at the beginning of April. So there are lots of opportunities uh, depending on what you want to do. Of course, there are a lot of uh, English teaching jobs for um, native English speakers. Uh, in order to work, make sure you, um, well, first of all, you need to have a valid passport. And, uh oh, what's up, dog? My dog is acting a little strange right now. Okay, so uh, before coming to Japan, like I said, make sure you have a valid passport and a resume with a photo. Okay, and uh, it's a good idea to study some Japanese, hook up with some Japanese friends uh, in your country if you can. If not, it may be harder. It will be harder. For you when once you get to Japan okay so know some Japanese before you get over here because most people most people can't speak English they might know hi or, how are you they might okay or where is like if you go to Tokyo or to a major uh, city in Japan you might find some people who can speak some English let's go down this path honey we're going down this path Ooh, pretty precarious Okay, so once you've got your passport and resume done, uh, you're gonna to need to bring money, of course. Um, how much money depends on you, it depends on uh, what you plan to do in Japan. But in my case, I came here with 5,000 US dollars with no credit cards. Okay, if you plan to go back to your country, um, it's a good idea to bring a major credit card, Visa, MasterCard, MX. But if you plan to stay long-term, well, I don't know how you're going to arrange the payments. So anyway, make sure you bring um, enough money, at least $5,000, at least. Okay, things are very expensive in Japan. Um, accommodation is very expensive. Now, if you don't know where you're gonna stay, um, you know, hotels are really expensive. They charge per person. So when they say, for example, $350, they don't mean for their whole room. They mean for one person. So if you're coming with three persons, each of you have to pay $350. So be aware. Okay. Um, okay, so once you get to Japan, um, try to find the nearest international community center. They'll have job postings, uh, information, um, even free language exchange. Uh, you need to brush up your Japanese no matter what. If you're here to party, you don't have to really worry about your Japanese um, as long as you stick around with uh, others who know some Japanese. Uh, if you come to Japan, obey the laws. I swear to God, obey the laws. You don't want to screw around with Japanese police. Okay, They can arrest you and they can just lock you up and just um, uh, they'll, they'll interrogate you and they'll just keep you in They'll just keep you locked up for many hours without charging you, just keep you locked up. So um, don't break any laws when you come to Japan. Respect the laws, respect the people. Um, go to a foreign pub. They're called gaijin bars here in Japan and hook up with some expats. You'll get some information about work and accommodation, things like that. Um, don't trust anyone so easily, okay? So just use your common sense. Okay, uh, whenever you go to it, oh, let's go down this path. Let's go down this path, honey. Come on, honey. That's my dog. So I'm going to talk about um, going for a job interview at an English conversation school, which is called an A Kaiwa. This is what you should wear. Uh, no jeans, absolutely. Wear dress shoes pants okay a nice what's up what is it he 
Is there a snake? Freak me out. What's up? My dog's going nuts. There are a whole bunch of leaves. Guys, when you go to an interview, dress nice. Okay, make sure you shave, cut your nails. Okay, um, don't talk too much. Uh, you don't want to scare your employer. Don't talk too much. Um, allow them to ask you questions. Um, of course, ask them questions. Don't ask them how much you're getting. If you're applying for a job at the company that you're going to, uh, you kind of know how much you'll be getting. Uh, the main thing is to get in the door. Okay, so leave a good impression. And that's about it for now. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, perhaps I'll make other videos on coming to Japan, maybe part two. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.